Yeah, this is a great idea. Let's start him out by introducing him to Ray. The purple-haired woman glares at Ritsuko as they walk across the catwalk, Akagi rubbing the bridge of her nose as lights come on over the artificial lake. Don't ask me. The commander ordered Ray to rendezvous with him. If it were up to me, I would have sent you, Misato. Right now, we can only hope that Ray hasn't scared him off. Oh, like she'd let him run. She'd break his legs first. Something's not right with that girl. Thank you, Professor. Is something wrong? Both women freeze. They both turn to the lit platform at the top of the holding facility. The man silhouetted by the backlight. He pushes his amber glasses up his nose, and Akagi slides hers back on. We think Ray has made a bad first impression with the third child. I see. Well, from what Section 2 tells us, Ray agitated the fourth angel, then had it chase her and Shinji across District 14 before they... they free fell into Access Port 4. Last I checked, Shinji was hyperventilating in a bathroom on floor B-21. Thanks to the backlighting, they cannot read the expression on his face. Sorry we're late! At this point, Shinji's color is lighter than Rei's. He walks, half stumbling, onto the catwalk as Misato and Ritsuko turn and stare at the girl comes to a stop as Shinji stumbles a few steps more before halting. Rubbing the bridge of her nose, sighing in exasperation, Akagi pushes her glasses back up and gestures to Misato. This is Lieutenant Colonel Misato Katsuragi. She is the tactical operations commander for Nerve 1. Shinji, the fourth angel, will attempt to penetrate the major armor layers we have surrounding our base in order to initiate an event which will more or less end all Sinjin life on this planet. We believe you can stop it. Looking from side to side, he taps his foot and waits. He waits for the laugh track to begin. Walking past them, he turns and stares at the backlit platform. Father? Hello, Shinji. It has been a while. Three years, and I just get a postcard. Can you please tell me that this is a joke? It's no joke. Flat shoes hit the catwalk. Wearing a sweatsuit and a lab coat. Glasses on her face and shoulder-length brown hair sporting some traces of gray. Mom? It's been four years for me. Your uncle and aunt have sent us updates. But it's just been too long. How are you? Tired? freaked out, and I think I wet myself. Can someone please tell me what's going on here? The spotlights underneath the lake and against the wall fire up. Slowly, he turns, his eyes first wandering onto the massive yellow optics, then expanding out, out onto the purple metal, the green highlights. His eyes trace along the horn jutting from its nose, the demonic grin covering its face. That is what it looks like, he thinks. Like some sort of mythological bony. Like a demonic mask used to scare children into sleeping. What is that? Evangelion Unit 1. The single most advanced combat unit ever created by human hands. Disengaging from his mother, he walks to the side catwalk, staring at it. With a discharge of steam, the visage of the massive cyborg turns to him. And it has chosen you as its pilot. Eyes rolling up, and Shinji collapses in a heap on the floor.